Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, Jack. So this is what it took, guys. <laughs> it took it took us a it took us a while. It, it Why took, I cannot see my took us a while. All right, so yeah. So we're gonna work on that positioning so everybody yeah. can see you properly. In the season. Okay, good. So, you okay. Do you, of course, I can see you properly. So, okay, okay. So they have to judge the comment. The com the comment section has to judge. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Fatima Halebi dancer. Welcome to Crude. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure getting to meet you. It's a pleasure getting to talk to you. I think this conversation is certainly going to be interesting, and I hope you're ready and uh, and you're about to have fun. Yes, I am ready. I'm excited. So okay. let's, let's, let's start. Let's get started. Um, I, I'm going. To, I'm going to start with the regular question, which I feel a lot of people will have on their mind right now is the name Halimi. Um. I know it's your brand name equally. So where does the where does it where does it originate from? I'm really trying to like not be distracted by the comments. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Forget you'll need the you'll need you will need the comment sec you need the comment section very soon. But yes, okay. it's okay. So the so you said the question is um where did the Halley yeah yeah where, where, yeah where did the Halley, where did the Halley... okay so. It, this is so funny. Um, I would say mm -hmm. when I came back from Africa, because I, I, I went to visit Africa in 2005. So yeah. when I came back from Africa in 08, Yusundu came out with, his, with, with a song called Halepi. You guys know what song I'm talking about, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I fell in love with that song. And that's where the Halepi, the, the brand, the, well, the word actually, like that's, that's where I fell in love with it and was like, you know what? This is it. This is this is this is gonna be my brand name. This is gonna be, you know, my Facebook, Instagram name. So yeah. as far as like the meaning behind it, I mean you you speak well enough, so you know what Kalibi means, but I feel like, you know, for marketing purposes, Kalibi was just, you know, it okay. for me. Okay. I mean I, I think for for someone for someone that has that that's into that's into business, um, it's it's important. It's important that um that we know that mm -hmm. it's important that we get we get that we, we get we get all the all those information so getting started as well so um just briefly you are i mean you 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 studied you studied business yes you are you are you're currently you you're currently working for an organization organization yes um you are you are you are, you are the administrator you're able to with that juggle doing your own your own hustle on the side so you are you are the founder of um one of the amazing awards in the usa called the senegambian award which you have ran so far for the past two years mm -hmm. so that ran so far for the past two years uh you are equally able to handle a fitness and wellness brand called halibi uh, or halibi llc now yes so much that that that's all, that's that's already so much that's already so much on the on the table. But let me let me ask you this funny question. What do you see? Do you see yourself letting a man handle your money? <laughs> do you, do you do you see a man? Do you see a man in your money? Huh, do I see a man handling my money? Yeah. I don't know what you mean by like can you can you, you emphasize I mean, Yes, you end up you end up with some guy and he's like, you know, he's obviously African and he wants to be in control. He wants to be the man of the house. Oh, no. You let him handle your money. No. Why? I would okay. I am already in control of my life, right? Okay. And the only person that can have control of my life, I would say God, and that's it. Everyone else is like, we got to compromise. We okay. have to compromise. So there's no like, you know, you're going to control my money, especially if it's something that I worked hard for, you know, mm. I wouldn't do that. So I wouldn't expect anyone that's going to be a part of this, 
you know, empire that I'm building to think yeah. that they can control. No. Okay, because I, I know a lot of a lot of men are actually asking why, but you I, I certainly feel you've you've answered that you've answered that question. Um, in, in terms in terms of in terms of your in terms of your your growth, um, for most for, for especially coming from an African perspective, they mm -hmm. feel that you know once you end up with a guy, somewhat mm -hmm. you have to step off a certain pedestal that especially you know women have to to fit the criteria so do you feel you're, you're eventually going to conform do you feel like you need to conform in order to end up with some guy like so so is your question that so your question is that i have to do do lower, I like I'm lower do i have to lower my standards to be yes. with someone yes no absolutely like i feel like if should i say this should i speak in general or just speak okay. to myself? Yeah. If you want to personalize it as well, I mean, I feel like women should be able to be themselves, be in control of their own life, and anyone else that comes and be a part of that should be able to understand that. I don't think anyone should lower their standards because you're trying to, you know, be with the other person who, you know, apparently is not up to where you are in life. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's fair. You know, so I personally, I would not lower my standards for a guy. I, I, I mean, I'm hard headed, so I don't think <laughs> <laughs> you are hard headed. Indeed. I'm hard headed, so I don't think you know me lowering my standards to you know mm -hmm. a, adjust to whoever. Uh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. So, so in a, in a nutshell, in summary, if you are. If if you feel you're good enough, then you know just be good enough. Um, right. But you are not going to lower your standards. You're certainly not going to conform to allow anybody or to fit into someone's standards. You're going to keep. You're going to keep your money. Their their money is. I, mean, no I, I, I will company. share. I will share, and okay. I'm willing to compromise. But yeah. to change everything, like to be like. Okay, compromise as in if someone is trying to come into my life and I'm here, yeah. I would expect that person to, you know, if you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's fine. But if you're here and you want me to come here, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, guys, you heard it. She is willing to compromise, but that money is her money, but your money is our money. Yes. Um, this, is, this, is, this, is how, this is how we handle it. Um, you are... You are, you, are, you are a child of an immigrant. Um, you, are, you are not born in Gambia. You're not born in Africa. So there's a lot of things that don't really apply to you. So just, just, just in a summary, mm -hmm. how would you summarize your childhood and how, how does your childhood affect the person, the woman that you are? Um, I would say it definitely impacted me in, in many ways. Okay. Um, I didn't have... I grew up with a father who was, you know, very strict, um, very religious. A Sarahuli father, by the way. A Sarahuli, okay? A Sarahuli father who yeah. was really, really strict. Mm -hmm. So I didn't always have, like, a lot of freedom when I was young or, like, going out and partying. Mm -hmm. um, so there's good and there's bad to that. I do appreciate that type of upbring um, upbringing because I feel like it kind of made me who I am today, especially with everything that's going on right now. Like I'm kind of like grateful and thankful that, you know, the way my, my parents raised me were like, you know, strictly and I mean, strict and, you know, not, not going out a lot to party and, you know, the books, the school and whatnot. So I'm very grateful for that. As far as like how it impacted me, I would say, um, it made me wiser. Mm -hmm. It made me wiser. It made me more independent. Okay. You know, growing up, my mom, you know, she had to, like, literally do everything on her own. You know, back then, I mean, I was young, but I didn't really know, you know, what racism was or how it impacted her. You know, especially, yeah. you don't speak good English. So, you know, now that I'm older, it's like, damn, like, you really went through a lot to try to, like, make ends meet for me and my siblings so i would say it made me stronger it definitely made me wiser yes. um yeah okay that, that that but but is there is there a specific memory of your childhood that you felt like this was a twig that was to you is 
you know, like a memory that you always feel and take take a part of you as positive, you know. Do you have something like that? Like a memory that I had yeah. that was positive? Childhood, a memory from your childhood that you feel, you know, was 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 some was was a part of that change for you like like oh yeah you know if this this didn't happen if this particular memory didn't happen um you really would not be where you are today or maybe a conversation with your parents um damn that's a tough question danny <laughs> no it's not um well i would say you know my dad taking me and my siblings to Africa in 2005 mm -hmm. and staying there for two years and not, you know, um, staying in the, in the city, Banjo, we, we actually stayed in the village, Misra. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, that was, to me, that was an experience. I mean, I was young um, and it was just a lot of things. It was a cultural shock for me okay. in a positive way. It was a cultural okay. shock. It, it was in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And I would say, that would be one of the moments where it really made me value life more. And I was, I was a kid. So, you know, me saying that now is like, wow, like, you know, <laughs> but I would definitely say that was one of the moments where I, it was, it was, it was a good moment for me. For so me. What, 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 what did you see? What did you see that on your, on your, on your, on your, basically on your, 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 your let, let, let me say your, your resettlement or your reintegration. Yeah. That's the term. Your reintegration period in 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 Gambia. <laughs> How what what happened? Did you what did you see that made you appreciate life? Um, just people being happy for the littlest things, you know. People just everyone waking up. They would you know go to the the well, get water, and put it in. And it's like, how the hell do you guys do that? You know, you know. It, it was just. It was just, you know, beautiful to see that we complain about things that they are willing to just accept and, you know, go on about their lives. So, yeah. Beautiful. Um, in terms of in terms of your growth at this particular at this particular point. Um, so I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still putting together, and I think a lot of people are actually understanding my angle here, you know, because uh, we we usually have conversations with. With, with with people individuals that are from africa and they understand you know the, the different the, the concept of being mm -hmm. an african you know the being the concept of being born and bred there and eventually leaving the country regardless of whatever age that was um mm -hmm. as, as as a child of an immigrant I'm saying this because you are um what makes you what makes you feel connected to africa or what makes you feel connected to Gambia? um the struggle. Damn. The struggle. I mean, they people from back home may see me and they probably like, oh, you know, she's good and she got her life together and, you know, she's working. But I struggle, you know, I struggle. So just me, I think that's what connects me to people from uh, people abroad is that the struggle. I mean, it may be a different struggle, but we all struggle in some ways. Um, I think, I think that's. I mean, it's the struggle for me that <laughs> makes me. The struggle, like she, it's tough. yeah, the struggle in in a good way. I'm not trying to be funny though. Yeah, I'm not trying to be funny in a good way, you know, because we all go through things in life, and you know, everyone's story is different. But you know, my my dad, my mom, they're not rich, so mm -hmm. I had to like you know really you know I think I'm the only one in my family that's really, you know, into working and just independent and going to school and all this other stuff. So being able to do that on my own and not having parents to, you know, back me up, it's, it's a struggle. So, you know, I could relate. Okay. Uh, what, what, what has 2020 been like for you? What are you grateful for in 2020? It's okay. We know that hair is one of the things we're grateful for because this <laughs> hair, it's pain. Bang it. It's no, no, okay. no. No, the reason why I put my head down is because oh. 2020 has been a struggle for everyone, you know? Right. From the pandemic, the, you know, the people that we've lost, the, the, the greats, you know, it's, it's, just been a, it's just been a crazy roller coaster. So am I grateful for anything? Well, I feel like as, as crazy as this sounds, I feel like this whole pandemic actually, you know, 
made me realize, like it made me more appreciative of life because time is so short. And mm -hmm. we don't realize it because we get up every day, we go to work, or we're doing whatever, we go about our business. So it's like, you don't realize that time just goes by. But I feel like this pandemic just basically put a, a, a stop on everyone. It's like, whoa, you know, take it easy and little by little. And I feel like for me, that's the, that's the only good thing I could say. But as far as like, how was the year? Oh, no, it, it's just been a crazy. <laughs> it's it, been it, crazy. Hasn't been good. it hasn't been good. Is that what you, that's mm -hmm. what you yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I need to read some of the comments because if I don't, some people are not going to be happy with me. Sure. I'm gonna read it with you too. So it is amazing, Dan. The outfit, makeup, facial structure, everything. Girl, you have women crushing on you right now. Thank uh, you guys. What what do you what do you do when a lady asks you out? Because I know ladies have asked you out, so it's okay. Don't don't act like that hasn't happened. It's okay. <laughs> I know, I know there are ladies in your DMs. Like, I just so be like, I mean, I just be like, I'm sorry, but I don't go that way. I don't go, I don't go that route. I don't, I, yeah. So if someone, a lady comes to you, it's like, yo, I am head over heels in love with you, girl. Like, you are, listen, I don't know. You know, let's just, let's just do this. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to hit a lady up. This is really making me cringe. <laughs> Um, yes, guys. Uh, so I, I need I, you need to hear from her. So your, the question is: She's single. I have a cousin. Oh my god, girl, just say yes and just keep you moving. I don't know why. Um, you're... I'm, I'm single. I'm single right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> right now. So wait, right tomorrow, now I'm single right tomorrow, now. Tomorrow you're not going to be single. I didn't say that. I did not <laughs> say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, back into some of the comments. Well, well, I mean, we have a bunch of questions as well. Um, well, uh, they put the girl through it. Yes, I do. They actually did. They, they had to put her through it. I mean, send you to Africa to go. Uh, send you to Gambia because there's a comment that says we should stop saying Africa and choose a specific name of a country because it eventually needs to educate the people because that's one. That's 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 something that Americans have. I mean, say, mm -hmm. yeah. but Africa has 54 countries. So be specific. Um, yeah. So. You you went that tra that period of staying in in Gap opened your eyes to uh, a, a lot of things, and, and I feel you were you were happy that suddenly happened. Um, a, a quick question right here. He says, "What was your def uh, what was what was your defining moment that made you start a business and eventually turn your life around?" Okay, so people don't know this, but I was always a chubby person when I was younger. Oh. Yeah, I was very chubby, and then I went back home. It's something. It's something about God. Uh, it's something about going back home that even if even if you're big, like just a little bit, you lose weight. <laughs> so how much? How much? How much did you? <laughs> you lose weight. I don't know how, and I, I no, actually, I think I know why it is because one, the foods back home is natural. Nothing is processed, right? And there's a lot of labor that you have to do on hand or on foot. Yes. Whereas here, you could just get up, you have your dishwasher machine, pop, you know, your place and everything inside there. Yes. The laundry. Like, I literally experienced when I was back home washing yo, clothes yo. with my hand. Yo, you did it? You did it? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! How did you feel? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It was like, it was, it was hard. And I mean, I think after five minutes, I gave up, but I got used to it. But um, I think that that's one thing, like the labor is like, if you go there uh, uh, over overweight, you tend to come back, you know, a little, you know, I, and whatnot. So, um, so I was chubby when, when I was young and then I went back home after two years, I came back and I lost the weight. And then it's like, I started putting the, the weight back on and that's, that was the moment where I was like, okay, I need to, you know, get into fitness. I need to do some type of workout so that way I don't, you know, gain all the weight back. Mm -hmm. So I started going to the gym, which I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first started going. Mm -hmm. So, um, by the way, it, it took me like, I mean, right now, I mean, it's been over five, six years now that I've been committed to fitness and just wellness overall. Yeah. But um, I think 
mind I, I didn't have any type of supporters. I didn't have parents who go to the gym or eat healthy. I mean, if, when you're a Gambian and you're a Soninke, you eat bread every single day. You yes. eat chebu, you eat freaking buru, <laughs> buru every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like I had any type of support system or people that I could look up to for motivation. No, I had to literally, you know, do a lot of research, ask a lot of questions, you know, in regards to, you know, what to eat, what not to eat, the workouts and whatnot. So I would say, because the question was, what was the defining moment? Like, what made me realize to yep. get into the, yeah. So fitness was, you know, going to the gym consistently and working out and eating right. I was like, I could actually turn this passion of mine into something where I could act I could also help others, especially in the West African community. There's not yeah. a lot of people that's into fitness. There's not a lot of people that's into eating healthy. And I feel like I want to be able to contribute in that way. So I basically turned my passion into, you know, making an integral. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have my products here. I want okay. to show you. Yes, she's she has she had she has it all. So that's Halle, that's that's Halle, that's Halle B right there. Yep, we can yes, see yes. that. Yes, I, we can we can we can see that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this, so, is, the, this is the boxing, the the package. Yes. And so, um, in terms in terms of in terms of fitness wellness, it it, it comprises of so many elements. Mm -hmm. uh, just not just not the working on part it is a routine it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle it definitely it, i mean it, for it, me it's a lifestyle yeah. so so now how how eventually are you are you turning it into a business now how how does the enterprise come together and, and talk to us a little bit um about um the llc okay so um besides working out i do you know i'm a tea lover i'm a tea drinker i drink tea i probably drink five or more cups of tea every day yes oh but i'm a tea lover um mm. so i was able to you know come up with ingredients that were natural and organic to yes. help people i mean detox their system because people don't realize that you can work out all you want but if you don't eat healthy that workout is all in vain so i came out with some teas tea uh, detox tea that helps you know get rid of like bad toxin out of your system um, cleans your, your digestive system. Mm -hmm. um, I've also have my fat burning gels, which is good for like when you're working out, you're applying on, makes you sweat, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then my sports, my Kalibi stainless steel sports bottles, you know. This is the sports bottle. Actually, hold on. Nice. So this is, this is how the, the, the inside of the box looks like. Ooh, clean, mommy, clean. I like that. I like. That. I like that. So the bottle, the bottle comes in the box. Yes, the bottle comes in the box. This, mm -hmm. this is how. This is how it is. It, come, I have to, uh, it comes in three colors: yeah. the burgundy, the black, and um, the blue. Mm -hmm. And when you open it, it has a, a, a diffuser. Yes. Oh, nice. I have a diffuser so you can put your tea in it, whether yeah. it's um, loose tea or, you know, the tea that's in a pouch. You can yeah. put it in here. It keeps it hot for mm -hmm. over eight hours. If you if it's a cold beverage, you can put it in there. It keeps it cold for over eight hours. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, this is one of my products from my Halebi, um brand. Yeah. And then, um, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> This is um, the tea. So this is, so my tea, I have two types of tea. The good morning detox tea and the good night um, detox tea. And it mm. comes in 21 day or 30 day, depending on what type of, you know, journey that you're, that you want to kickstart your fitness with. Yeah. So for starters, you know, people like to, people really get the 21 days to kind of test it out and yeah. see, what, you know, how it makes them feel. It does help you go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Um comfortably not like you know diarrhea you know yeah. so it, it does help you go to the bathroom it gives you energy the morning one gives you energy it helps you mm -hmm. know just kickstart your day if you're into working out and you know this would be like ideal for you to have first thing in the morning before you start your day and now, then um 
Mm -hmm. hard, it's hard to stay dedicated um, to workouts. And I know for most people, it's, it's certainly going to be a, it's, it, it has to be a discipline. And you have been able to find that discipline. You've been able to say at 5 a.m. in the morning, I'm waking up and I'm going to work out for so amount of time every day. Now, yeah. what, what, what happens there? Like, what, 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 how, how, how do you get someone on that same level? Um, and, and, and talk to us about the classes as well that you have in the week. So for starters, do not wake yes. up at five in the morning to go work out. Yes. That's just me, okay? Because I've been doing it for a long period of time. Because I work full time, nine to five, yes. you know, it's easier for me to wake up early in the morning, start my day with working out. And it just gives me a whole different type of energy level for me to be able to, you know, continue my day. So for starters, I would not recommend waking up at five in the morning. Okay. Because you, you got to be like already in three, four years in, in order to, I mean, but if you could do it, then hey. Mm -hmm. it's your soul. But um, oh. how, how do I stay motivated? Honestly, I feel like fitness was able to get me through a lot of tough times in my life. Like, you know things you know whether it was emotional emotional things that i were going that i was going through um relationships whatever it just helped me a lot so i feel like depending on your why to like why you're going to the gym and the reason why you're going to the gym everyone's motivation comes from a different you know part so some people go to the gym because it's a stress reliever some people go to yeah. the gym because they just want to get their minds off of things some people go yeah. to the gym because they want to lose weight some people go True. to the gym because they want to maintain the, um, the weight. For me, I feel like in the beginning, when I first started going to the gym, it was all about, you know, um, losing weight in a sense and also um, maintaining, but, but more so losing. And after a while, it's like it, it became something where it made me feel so good. Like whenever I finish a workout, it's like I had a party in my head, literally. So... For me now, at this very moment, fitness has become a lifestyle for me. It has, be, it, has be, it has become something where if I don't work out, I mean, during this COVID-19, Danny, when I tell you, mm. it's been almost half a year. Yeah. Half a year, Danny. Mm -hmm. It's like... <laughs> it, was, it was hard for you to take in. It was, it was hard. <laughs> I understand. It it was hard. It was hard for you to take in. It was hard for you to process. I I I, I feel I felt your struggle. Um, but but into I can't even it, talk. It, just just quick just quickly before we get into the fun segment, which I feel a lot of people are waiting for, and that I've managed to give a What's trick. What's the fun segment? Oh yeah, that's that's the that's that's the trivia that's the trivia segments there. Oh okay. Um, so 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 just 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 quickly. You, you, you speak a little bit more about community, especially your bio talks about a lot of community work. Like, for example, the Halle B LLC as well is, is to help the community, your community, where you are currently in New York. Um, the, 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 the award show is equally a tool to, to yeah. celebrate the community, to celebrate the Senegambia, the, the West African community. Your work as well has to do with the community you know, with the less privileged and, um, you know, the, 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 the elderly and all of that stuff, you know, the, the disabled. Now, um, how important is the community, the community building? To me, honestly, it takes a, yeah. a village to raise, you know, to, to, it takes a village for, what's the word? What's the word? Help me out, Danny. It takes I mean, a wait, village to... Girl? To what? To raise a girl, that's what they say, though. You know, that's what they say. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess that, that's that's what I mean. There, no, but um, honestly, I feel like community is very, very important. I feel like when you have a, a, a group of people behind you supporting you, yeah. that's how far you can get in life. You know, mm. um, with my brand, I felt like my community needed it first. You know, it's a, it's a million people who do fitness and who are into wellness and whatnot. But it's like people look for who they can relate to. And I feel like there's a lot of West African, Senegalese and Gambians who don't have people that they can relate to when it comes to fitness or when sure. it comes to eating healthy. So I feel like, you know, for me, it was more so about, you know, getting 
not just my products out there, but more so getting people to relate that, okay, I mean, I can relate to you because mm -hmm. I know how hard it is to grow up in a West African household and not be able to, you know, have the right food or not be able to like, you know, have that support to go work out. So yeah. I think that's what really like stood out to me. And that's why I'm like, really gearing towards getting the community, getting my community on board with fitness and really taking it serious and taking care of your health because you can be the richest person, but if your health is not intact, it's, it's just meaningless. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I like, I, like that. I, I certainly love your approach on this, but yes, let's get to twist this a little bit, lighten up as well. If you're just joining us, this is cool with Halle B. Welcome to that segment that everybody we talk uh, but because of her not being a Gambian, I can't, I can't do the whole how Gambian are you. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to, we're going to try to tweak it. So what I, what I did was just get a bunch of, um, a bunch of, um, what, what was it? a bunch of easy riddles that I feel with your, with the comment section, they can help you. Cause I feel like you've been part of the comment section. So kind of, so it's, it's called brain tips. So it's called brain tips, catch call. Do you know? So this is <laughs> so so we'll 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 try we'll try. Okay, yes. So guys, Panda, this is where I need you guys now. All of you, all of you that are in the woodwork. Uh Jack, Jack that's just there asking about food. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. She is a wellness and fitness entrepreneur with the uh, Honeybee brand. She's equally um, the founder of an amazing award, which eventually we'll talk about. This, we'll talk about it um, after this this trivia questions, and we equally will get a little bit more into you know how far how far she sees herself. You know, like like your father is one of those people that was a gentleman. What's his ten year plan? So where do you see yourself in ten year type of question? Is it like that? Are you asking me a question? We started yeah. already. Is your is no 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 not yet. I mean the question oh. is. Is your dad, you know, is your dad the type of person that'll be asking a guy that comes to see, you know, that comes to your house? I said, you know, what's your five, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? You know, what's your five year plan or 10 year plan? Um, my five year plan from today. No, not you, not you. For the oh. guy, is, does, your, does your dad ask such questions? Ask oh, questions. my dad, I mean, my dad is more calm now. Before, oh, hell, break loose. Like, it's a lion. <laughs> Okay. Now, now he's very calm. He's very, um, you know, he's open. He's open to, you know, you don't have to be Sanam Kule to marry his daughter. You don't have to be Gambian to marry his daughter. You know, as long as you're Muslim and you pray five mm -hmm. times a day and you, you have good faith and you are not a Batara Sere, which means yes. you, you know, you know what, you know what that means, right? Batara Sere, mm -hmm. Batara Sere. <laughs> but the, but the, but the that means like you know in that's in Sarangula, that means like a guy who doesn't have his life together like you just oh. you're full of shit you're full of oh. shit basically oh okay she just said don't be full of shit like Panda don't be full of shit Panda, don't Panda says shit. don't be a donkey <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get started um so i have a i have a few questions over here and I will need you to score the points that are that, that that are needed to be on top of the bar. And pretty much, I think you rate yourself, and people out here are going to help you as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have nine and ten different. So we have eight. I have eight uh, riddles, and I have two random questions. All right. So the first riddle is. What are the two things that are going everywhere together day and night, but they never meet? Okay, so I repeat. The sun and what, the moon? Are, what are two things? The sun and the moon? Wait, now let me finish. Let me repeat the question. This guy says, see, this is, this is why you do fair exam. What are two things <laughs> that are going everywhere together day and night, but they never meet? The sun and the moon. The, the, so oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm giving you options now. I'm giving you okay, options wait, 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 now. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Okay, the sorry. option is A, air, B, ice, C, 
parallel lines. A, air, B, the eyes, C, parallel lines. Eyes. You have, you have one try. Eyes. Oh, oh wait, are you, are you sure that's your, that's your final answer? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your final answer? Going once, going twice, and yes, yeah, yeah. that's my final answer. Gone. Yeah. Okay, good. So ice is your final answer, and ice is correct. So we move to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So the, the answer is ice. Question number two: I am neither inside nor outside, but I am in every house. A, bed. B. Smoke, C, door. Repeat that question one more time. I am neither inside nor outside, but I am, but I, I, but I am in every house. Who am oh. I? Okay, okay. So. The door. <laughs> <laughs> so is it A, B, or C? The door. So the door is C. The door is C. Yeah. So that, right? Yeah. I, 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 you, I need you to be confident. You can't just. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's my answer, Danny. You you playing tricks with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So door going once, twice, and yes. So door is the answer, girl. You're smart, smart, but it's okay. I see you. I see you out here reading all in that, like taking your time to read. No, I'm, I, I'm not, you know, I'm blind, right? I, I need my okay. glasses. I can't, I can't even see the comments. Oh my God, really? It's okay. I'm so serious. I'm blind. But wear your glasses. Why aren't you wearing your glasses? I don't have, I forgot at home. I, I don't even have it with me. Okay, good. Um, so question number three. So door is correct. Door is correct. Question number three. What gets wetter and wetter the more it, the more it dries? Ooh. <laughs> what gets wetter and wetter the more it dries? Okay. So this is what I'm not going to give you options. Oh. But, I can give you, but I can give you the first letter of the answer. The, okay. the, the, the answer is the, the letter, the, 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 the no, it's the, yeah, the letter to the word starts with the letter T. What gets wetter and wetter? Mm -hmm. The more, the more it dries. What gets wetter and wetter the more it dries? Boy, one, this one you got to No, uh-uh. This one you got to take, you got to give me some time because <laughs> it's, it's not multiple choice. It's not multiple choice. So you got to give me some time. Um. The, the first word to the answer is T. Oh my God! Who's saying WAP here? Who said WAP? People are saying WAP. What is WAP? Oh my God! You ratchet people, get your mind out of the garden. People are here with when when I bottom lamini, bottom lamini. I'm done. Okay. Um, this is a rated R live, right? <laughs> It is R rated, so yeah. So R, R rated, okay. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so 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 yeah. What what what, what answer, Give me give me one. Give me one question. Give give one answer. Excuse me. Yes. Um. Just, what gets wetter and wetter? Yes. But doesn't first of all, whoever said WAP, it's not wrong with you because WAP when it gets wet, it does dry up after a while. So. <laughs> Why are we going to talk about WAP? Let's no, get WAP just, out just, of this moment. It just stood out. Because it just stood out. I'm like, wait, huh? Who said that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you go. So we're going once. Give me an okay, answer. I, I give up. I give up. Tell me. You're going twice. You give up? So you're really not even going to read your comments. <laughs> <laughs> can't see the comments, right? I can't see the comments. What is the what? Is, what are you saying? Me, 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 me. That's asking you question now. I have to come and give you answer now. 
based on comments. She, 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 she really can't see, guys. I'm those, like, literally. Those, those lashes, those lashes, though, it, they're not no, making No, it's me. not. I it, um, kid you not. It, my eyes is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Ooh, okay. I like that. So you are forfeiting that you're forfeiting number three. So let's move on. So that's a so what is so, so the next one? What is so fragile that when you say its name, it breaks or you break it? What is so fragile that when you say its name, you break it? What is so fragile that when you say its name, it breaks? Yes. A. So let me give you. Let me give. You, let me give you. Let me give you options. Okay. So A. A is A is silence. B is ego. <laughs> C. C is balls. <laughs> okay so yeah so that's so that's it so yeah answer please um so a, and a is silence mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a is silence b is ego and c is balls i would okay Oof, okay um i would go with a but yeah okay. i would go with a Okay, so you're you sure you want to go with a, 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 are you sure are you sure because C sounds really nice though? I'm just saying no, but yeah, so A it is we're going A. So really you're really going to be silent now. You're really going to be silent now. Okay. The the comment section is having its own show. That's Jay. Jay said the comment <laughs> they're having a blast right now. I, I can um, see I I listen. I wish you, I could, I could really see. can't see. So, so number so we're moving to the, the the next riddle. The two of us across the wilderness wilderness without talking to each other. Who are we? Two of us across the wilderness without talking to each other. Or what 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 are we? Oh just that's if I if I frame it properly. The answer starts by S. In the wilderness, two people. Not really two people, but uh, you know, two of us. Let me say, two of us cross the wilderness without talking to each other. Who are we? <laughs> and I said, me and my ex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that was funny. John put a pen down. <laughs> um, yes, right. Oh my, I can't. You guys are distracting me. So the question is, the two of us cross the wilderness without talking to each other. Who are we? The answer starts with letter S. In the wilderness, there's the sun, there's you, and there's something else. Shadow. Ah, look at her now. I'm doing that. Like she got to like <laughs> Okay, shadow is it, it is. Um, we got three more riddles. So the next one, give it food and it will leave. Give it water and it will die. Give it food and it will leave. Give it water and it will die. What is it? That doesn't Come. even make more sense. If you give if you give it food, it will live. If you give it water, it will die. What is it? It starts with the letter F. If you give it food, it will live. If you give it water, it will die. Yes. Hey, water, hey, water. If you give me water, water. 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 <laughs> Water, give me water. Water, stop it. Water. water. Um, come on, come on, it's easy now. It starts with the letter F, like Fatima. 
You're using it almost every day because I feel, yeah. I mean, but with those nails, though, I, I, I doubt you do. Those <laughs> nails, I, I doubt you do. Um, going once, yeah, going no. twice, and gone. The answer is fire, fire, ball, damn. Fire, 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 fire is fire. If you get, if if you throw food into fire, if you throw anything into fire, it oh, okay, lit, okay. Ignite, it goes bigger. If you throw water in it, it dies. Isn't that yeah. right? Exactly. Yes, that's right. So okay. um, you are for fifty. Now you are showing your your kitchen skills. And see, will you find a husband? You are showing your kitchen skills now, like this now. <laughs> No kitchen skills whatsoever. We'll get back to that. Next question. The more you take, the more you leave behind. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What is it or what am I? The more you take, the more you leave behind. Yes. The sand? answer is letter F. I was going to say sand because when you take sand, the more you take, the more it just comes up, which could be an answer too. But... Uh, no. No, but you will have, you will have some in your hand. That is, that is not even. You okay, know, you so, you, okay, so, hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you start. You said start with the letter F. Yes, start with letter F, and it involves workout as well. Like you could do, it, you could use it in workouts. It's. Danny, where know, are you getting these riddles? <laughs> Because I cannot ask you how Gambian are you, you will drown. <laughs> and you'll become a meme tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I'm trying to be nice to you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes. So, oh my God. This, wait, really? She said, oh my, oh my God. They said, fuck boys. Oh my God. I can't. Oh the comment section is just, it is, they are wilding. They are. <laughs> The more you take, the more you leave behind. The answer going once. I don't know. The the more the more you leave, the more you take, the more you leave behind. It's not your ex, please. It is footsteps, guys. Footsteps. footsteps. Okay. Footsteps. Foot, okay. Footsteps. Okay. footsteps. 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 Aren't you taking footsteps? Workout. You know, footsteps. Moving forward. Moving backwards. Oh, you said footsteps. Footsteps. No. Not footsteps. Yeah. No, foot, 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 oh, foot, 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 No, no. Oh. How, hey, how can you, how, the more you take, you don't, you don't, you don't, do you leave food stamps behind? Yes, you do, though. Yes, yes. You actually leave food stamps behind. That's a good one. That's a good one. But no, that's not the answer. Okay. <laughs> um, but yes, the more there is, the less you see. That's the last riddle. The more there is, the less you see. Last one. The more there is, the less you, you see. see. So it starts, the answer starts with letter D and, and, and ends with S. Starts with a D and ends with an S. <laughs> what? What the heck is that? Okay. Um, yeah, so the more there is, the less you see. What is the answer? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna you without glasses. <laughs> wow, wow. I find you. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm Penda coming at me. Um, somebody said bank account. The more there is, the less you see. Someone said dreams. Someone said dreams. Um, uh, there's vitamin D. What's up with y'all? Damn. Okay. okay. Comments. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, um. Okay. Comment section. I see y'all. Um. So. So what? So the the the, first, the answer. The, the basically it's D. That's the first word to the answer. And S. As the last word to the last letter of the word. Uh, help me out. Okay, so help me out. 
points. Let me see. Even my comment, even the comment section are not getting it right. So the answer is darkness. The more there is darkness, the less you see. Okay. I I I understand you you cannot relate you cannot you can't relate because if you don't have your your extra curricular eyes how would you see, how would you understand? Danny. Danny. So Rasta Rasta smile oh my God Jack is flirting with you he said Rasta smile for me I will tell you the answer right now. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Jack what the hell? Wadara, so far I got to go see DM. Um, I Jack, heard that, Danny. Sorry, Jack does not wear clothes. Just so you know, you will have a man that does not put on no damn clothes. <laughs> he walks around in shorts, in, in, in shorts and and socks every day, even on a plane. Um, so two more questions and we are out, and then we get we get we get into uh, something different. So, a uh, random question, and I think I saw it on my brother's on my brother's WhatsApp status. If your ex was on fire, what would you use to put the flames out? <laughs> if your ex was on fire, what would you use to put the flames out? Uh, I wouldn't use anything. Wait, wait, how would you? How would you put the fire out? You're not gonna put the fire out on it. That's why he's an ex for a reason. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> so it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. You're not going. Yeah, to it's like okay. Bye. Go Bye. burn in hell. You, Go burn in hell. Someone said no. I'd be true. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do. I can't do this though. Um. So 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 you you you're not going to put the fire out. That is wow. Fire for fire. That's amazing. That's fire. Last question. Whose voice can you mimic? Even if, it's your, um, even if it's your mom, we want to hear it. Yeah, want to hear it? Yes, we want to hear it. So whose voice can you mimic? Who can you mimic? Like, can you imitate? Um, I could imitate my mom. And I think, like, as a... Um, imitate as in celebrity-wise or just anybody in general? Oh, if you want, if you want to take celebrity-wise, yes, let's take, let's let's go. Who do you have? Who do you have? Celebrity, ce ce celebrity uh, mimic, oh, pretty much impersonation. Kim Kardashian. Ooh, okay. So, guys, <laughs> I'm about to do an impersonation or an impression of Kim Kardashian. Welcome to Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And right here, we have Kim. Ooh, let's hear it. Um, this is so I can't believe I'm doing this. Damn, Danny. Let's go, let's um, go, let's go. I'm excited. Um, okay, I'm trying to think of a scene that you know Kim would normally say. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, so the other day I was talking with Courtney and Courtney was just so full of shit. Like, what is she wearing? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Um, I, I don't really follow the show, but, um, <laughs> it's, it's going to I tried. I tried. Okay. So any, any African you, you can mimic any African Anybody from Africa you can mimic? Um, no. Really? No. Do you have any an aunt, a sibling, uh, a pet, you know, my or... mom? Okay, so let's hear. What does your mom sound like? But but I would have to say it in my language. It's and okay. Think... It's oh. okay. Okay. Let's um, hear. Yeah. When she's okay, so my mom when she's um yelling at me sometimes. Oh, she's trying to tell me, okay, like this hair, right? You see how long it is, right? So mm -hmm. she had, a, she, she didn't have a fit, but she did say something in our mm -hmm. language, and it was so funny. She was like, hey, Matora, Matora, do not, do not have a good about it. She said, she said, oh my God. Oh God! Um, 
So that is is that is the that is the English that's that's the English right there. Really? That that's yeah. the English. That's our English right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that's fast. That's fascinating. I, I I like that. But yo, so this is it. This is it. Thank you so much for having fun with us. Let's let let's let's, <laughs> let's have you rate, rate yourself over ten. Huh? Rate yourself over ten. How much would you give yourself over ten? Rate myself. Yes, rate. Yes. So basically, the answers that you had, you had ten questions. So mm -hmm. how many do you feel? Oh, okay, okay. Um, yes. I would say I did bad. It's okay. Six. You try. You try. So six. six over ten. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, we'll take we'll take that. So six over ten. It is. Uh, if you're actually just joining us right here, this is cool with Halagi, uh, Fatima Halagi Dan. So. Uh, she is a wellness, fitness, uh, business woman. Because I can't really say entrepreneur because you're, you're, you're building an empire. Somebody's Thanks. giving you four over ten, uh, which I don't think is fair. Maha, Maha. Um, Superstar P is telling, is giving you an eight over ten. Uh, so, yes, you, got, you, 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 have, you, have a good, you have a good standing over them. Um, equally, she is, um, apart from studying business, she is equally into the entertainment scene uh, right here in the U.S., having or holding an amazing award event called the Senegal Award. It takes place annually. But for some weird reason, like she had a sixth sense, she decided to skip 2020 and move it to 2021. But um, the award, the Senegal Award, shortly is just uh, in, in some ways, certainly just uh, a, a platform where she uh, she recognizes the effort and the work of Senegambians in the region, uh, or, or just uh, just West Africans in the region, um, by just appreciating the work that they do in different fields um, and how they impact their communities. And the fact that she's so community oriented, uh, it's only fair enough that she has an event where she is commemorating and celebrating entrepreneurs and uh, Africans or West Africans that are doing equally as, well as herself. Um, I don't think she really holds herself to that standard, but you have been doing the award for two years. Now, tell me a little bit about the award and what what, what exactly is the out gain here? But what, what are you looking to achieve? So, um, how do I start? Okay, so... The Senegambia Award Show, now known as SGWA Awards. I'm not yeah. going to disclose the acronym for what it stands for because I'm doing like a little giveaway as we get closer okay. to the show. You know, yeah. like whoever can figure out what it stands for, they'll get like a free ticket to come to the show. But um, my whole purpose of creating this show was to have a platform for the West African community so that way... Mm -hmm. um, people, leaders in our community, community service people who are just so into the community and doing work, you know, whether people see them or not. I wanted to create a platform that can bring everyone, you know, to the same room where we could acknowledge each other and recognize each other and award each other. Mm -hmm. um, I always say this, that, you know, sometimes in life, like you can do what, like if you're so passionate about something, you know, you shouldn't look for a recognition for it because that's already your passion. True. But I feel like sometimes when you are acknowledged of something that you've worked so hard for, it gives you that extra motivation and that extra push to keep going. And True. little do you know or realize there's other people who also look up to you and that can also motivate them to, whether they don't have a passion or not, it would also help them to find their passion and do something good. So my whole, you know, purpose of starting this show was to bring Africa together, to bring, uh, you know, our trailblazers to the forefront, to award people, to pe for people to network. Because there's, like, so many amazing people doing amazing things. But we don't know each other. You know, True. we don't know each other. We don't know who this person is. Unless, I mean, thankfully, social media is around. So we get to see, you know, things you know, via me, the social media, but I feel like in person, in depth, you get to yes, connect yes. with people more. So, you know, 
that's my my mission behind this show is to really take Africa globally. I really want to take, you know, bring our trailblazers to the forefront. I want to push it. I want to push Africa to the forefront on a global stage. So we had our first show in 2018. We had our second show in 2019. 2020, mm. we skipped it, but mm. 2020, I'm, I'm, it's still technically, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it as a, a, a fiscal year rather than calendar year. So fiscal year right. starts from June 30th to June 30th of 2021. Technically, yes. we're still, we will still be in the, the... Sorry about that. Technically, we will be we will still be in the in the 2020 calendar year. So you know, and with everything that's going on right now with COVID, you know, it's not even safe to hold you know a show and have everyone there and you know have yeah. everyone exposed to something you know. And I don't want to yeah. be held accountable for that. So yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah, the show will definitely happen um, next year. I'm not gonna disclose the date, even though we do have a date, a confirmed mm -hmm. date for the show. Um, yeah, so that's 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 what the show is about. And basically, we have you know people who vote. You know, like any uh, like any regular award show. You know, we 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 you know publicize the nominees for whatever amount of categories that we have for that year. And people just you know vote for who they feel uh, should be the winner for that category. And on the day of the show, we make the announcement, and that's that. Okay, now the the award has so far been celebrated, like you said, two years, and there, there's there's so much work that needs to be done. Um, and I need and I need to I need to ask you this because it's 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 one thing to organize an event and to equally just um, spearhead the entire concept and production on your own, um, and working with. And working with young people, working with Africans, it's 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 a little it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Um, what 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 would you say? What are some of the lessons that you've learned uh, from the past two editions that you feel eventually are meant to be? Well, I would say, you know, people always say, "Oh, okay, when you have a team, when you have a team, you know, it's easier to get things done. It's easier to have, you know." whatever vision that you guys have to just put it out there and it won't be as, you know, much of a hassle. Yes. For me, honestly, when I first started the first show, I did it mm. like literally all by myself. Production, yeah. content, mm. reaching out to vendors and whatnot. I did everything by myself. So mm. I felt like it was easier 2018 than it was in 2019. And 2019, okay. I had a whole team. I had a board. I have a board member. I mean, mm -hmm. board members where, you know, each person is assigned to do certain things. But I feel like, you know, we all contributed verbally, you know, but as far as like, was it easier or was it harder? I wouldn't say it was easier. I feel mm -hmm. like it was harder. And that's just me being honest. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's not easy planning an event. It's definitely not easy, especially when, you know, you don't have any sponsors and, and whatnot to like, you know, help. It's just you, your mind, your creativity, your creative skills and Okay. But 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 in terms of in terms of events now, does it happen the same at yours? You know the time issue, like when you're in, when you're in Gambia and a show is supposed to start at nine p.m. and it starts at twelve. Oh no! So so with with the award show, like okay, so the first show. I mean, first of all, the venue that we that that you know where the show happens at, they're very mm. strict when it comes to timing and everyone. You know, because this is a certain amount that we paid for so you know we everyone has to be there on time so i know for the first show we had time left over for the second mm -hmm. show because it was more people that attended timing was an issue for us but mm -hmm. that will never happen again <laughs> that will never happen again and it's not that like for the, for the second show it's not like people came late or anything like that it was just more so of because it was so many people that there were certain things that, you know, we kind of like didn't look at re re like real clearly in the beginning. And then the show is here and it's like, oh shit, what, what happened? You know? So definitely it will not happen again. Okay. So that will certainly not happen again. Um, you had, you, I, I, how many categories did you have the, in 2019? Was it 
eight, was it 16 or 12? Six. Six, six oh, categories. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six categories. Are you, are you, are you going to expand? expand it, yeah. So for the third uh, show, there will be nine award categories. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, you do you do well with representing in terms of the, the music. I, I see you're a big fan of Wally Seca. And I, I bet I, I bet he, I bet he think understand what Wally Seke is saying in those songs. Did you but, have to say that? Did you have to say that? Because I'm about to test your wall of skills. <laughs> I'm just about to test your wall of skills. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm about to test your wall of skills. Now it's a language that's spoken amongst young people. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is this this is going to be interesting. Now, if if you were meant to introduce yourself in Wolof, how do you do that? I mean, the simplest of forms. This is yes, Langadev. That's it. I'm a Langadev. Um, shit, Danny. Um. In yeah, I'll be like negative. I mean, if you say mommy fee, I will be like Naka say I how's it mom? <laughs> you uh wait, you <laughs> Oh my god. You went to Nakasa Yai, really? That's your wall off? Negative, Mangy Fee, Nakasa Yai, that's it? Wow. That's what okay. we do it. Okay, okay. Um but but are you are you are you fluent in Saraguli? Yes. Well take that back. Not you, too fluent, but I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand, yeah. Um so so your your wall of is not as bad as so many other people's wall of that I know. Um, That's so bad. Listen, you you're doing well. So let me just tell you a little because I feel like because you don't have your eyes. You don't see half of what is going on on this. No, can you please put me on? Oh Daddy? my put me God! On. They got put you me a on. husband. They got you a yeah. They got you a husband. They got you um um a, a, a side dude. Um, they are planning your wedding right now. What? Trust me. They, yes, they are planning your wedding. They are they they want Christmas gifts. They listen. It's wild right now. Um. Every they, there's they, um wait who they, people are already choosing who's getting invitation invitation cards to the wedding. What? Oh my um, god! People, somebody somebody said, "Oh, you have to do just keep smiling." Uh, my brother wants your 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 hair. This is this is just too much going on, right? And some people are willing to just be accountants and investors in the wedding. So they found you. They found you superstar P as a uh, suitable and they said Penda said the guy is shooting his shot and he's doing it low key like and nobody is seeing it <laughs> so there is there is there is another show going on on this show so wow. they are not even part of they're not even part of whatever we are talking about um but 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 let me let, let me let me say that we are proud of all the work that you do Thank you. um the award event and uh, pretty much the fitness, the, the fitness and, and wellness uh, company that you have put up. There's so much. There's so much that we, as African, have to do in order to stand out. And I think you've been able to manage that uh, successfully. Um, just one flash. And so I have two questions before we, you know, we, we slide down, uh, and I take comments and questions from my people as well. If you have any questions for her, you can send that right now. Uh, as we get to we get to uh, go down, we, we get basically we get to conclude. Question number one: Your social media is very controlled. Um, you you're not you're not very flashy. Uh, you're not very extra. You're very subtle to an extent. Now, are you trying to uphold standards? What what's what's the approach there? I mean, because you know, at the end of the day, you still have to market. You know your product. And I, I see how I see how hard it is for you to be posting those waist trainer pictures and videos. And I'm I'm trying to get in your head, but I need to hear it from you. Damn, so, so wait, wait. Face. <laughs> so Danny, so so you guys noticed that? Like you can yes. tell that I'm, Wow. Oh wow. So um I'm a very shy person. I don't know if, if you guys noticed that, but I'm very shy. I, yeah, I am. 
hold on, hold on one second. They are doing color scheme, food, and entertainment for the wedding. Like, what is going on? Here? They've already they are planning your wedding for you right here, right now. They have booked Burner Boy and Beyonce for it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm not going to um. So yeah, back to your answer. Back to your answer. So um, I'm a very shy person naturally. I mean, yeah. over the years, I've been, you know, doing things to kind of like, you know, get myself out of my bubble and just really like be op more open. But um, I do like I do agree with what you said. Like, is it is there a reason why I don't showcase so much? I do try to protect. What's the word that I'm looking for? What's yours? Not what's mine, but just. I mean, eyes. The eyes. Too much eyes is not always good. Even though you know, I am a business. I am a, a businesswoman. I'm into fitness, which fitness entails you to market what you do in the gym. So people could be like, "Oh, so she really does work out." I try to like post, you know, videos and whatnot. I've been slacking a little bit lately with like posting actual workout videos, but. Granted, I, I will be coming through with some more fitness videos, but yes, I do. I know. I, I, listen, I try. I've been trying. I've been trying. I've been trying. Is it, wait, is, is it, is it the Sarah Wooly upbringing somewhat? Yes, I, I definitely, definitely. I definitely think my, up, my upbringing has a lot to do with why I'm so like sacred, if that makes sense. Like why I'm yeah. so, you know, closed off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm trying to like be more open. I mean, shit, I'm running a whole entire show, and it's like, yeah. huh? Yes, the you comments? are. No, no, no. It's okay. The comments are killing me. The comments are killing me. People are choosing the suits for him. They have selected your 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 walking song. <laughs> they have <laughs> done your oh, They have your ballroom princess dress already like it is wild up in these comments i can't these guys i feel like i just need to th drive all of them out i'm so done they are so party. Done. it's crazy but um i know upbringing is somewhat is somewhat important and it plays a huge role in becoming who we are and then yeah. the standards that we we, we 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 place for probably our kids equally um but we certainly do not want to lose the essence of our, you know, as the essence of where we from, because it's important. It's it, it's what it's what keeps us grounded. Mm -hmm. um, questions that are coming in: What's your best advice for people trying to lose weight? Um, I would say, find your why. You know, find your why. Why is it that you want to lose weight? Don't try to lose weight for no guy. No, mm. love yourself first. And if you feel like you want to lose weight for yourself, mm -hmm. then do it. But don't try to lose. And if you want to lose weight for yourself or if you want to lose weight because of health reasons, then yes. But if it's mm -hmm. for, like, you know, a guy, no. And it's all about discipline. It's all, it's all about um, consistency. As long as you stay consistent and, you know, follow people who are into fitness and fitness influencers. There's so many out there, you know, YouTube. And, um, yeah, it, everything will naturally flow and you'll, get used to it and hopefully it becomes a lifestyle for you. Okay. Um, I'm not fat, but I, am, I feel heavy. What advice can you give me? You're not fat, but you feel heavy. Yeah. I don't even understand how does that work. Because now she says she's not fat, but she feels heavy. How does, <laughs> that, how, how does, that, how does that work? I mean, I'm trying to understand. So, okay, so is it you feel bloated maybe? Um, I, I don't, I think she, I think she, she should be the one to, to answer that. I think she should be the one to answer that. Oh my God. They have a VIP section for your, for your wedding. Oh Lord. I can't, um, questions coming through right here. Um, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy though. Um, someone, someone, so yeah, so I had, I had this question about phobia in the morning. Um, what's your phobia and how do you deal with it? What's my phobia and how? I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any. You don't have a phobia? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think I have. I mean, I can't. 
think of any. So nothing scares you. Like you're, you're, you're not afraid of anything. Like I love may... taking risk. Okay, so you eat a spider. I'm a risk taker. I'm a so risk you taker. Eat, you would eat a spider if you could. Oh, no, be... no, no, oh. no, <laughs> no. You, you pick but... up you pick up with your hands. No. Oh no. When it comes to like ants, like cockroaches, and oh no, 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 I will fly. I would. So you would see. The... That's the phobia right there. Okay, but I mean, I thought you was. I thought you meant like you know, as far as like challenge wise mm. or you know, like risk wise. What happened? Comment. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so stop. So superstar P, I cannot deal with you guys anymore. Um, this, this, this is this is just too much. This is too much, and I thank you guys so much for having so much fun. It is crazy up in there. Um, but but the lady, so Fata said, I mean, I'm not that active for my weight. So she has, so she feels she's not active enough for her weight. So what would you recommend? You know, what, what would you say? Wait, she's not active enough with her weight or not yeah. active as in like working out? Yeah, she feels like she's not active enough. So how does she get to... Into working out? Honestly, just start small, like, even if it's 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day just to walk mm -hmm. for 30 minutes or run for 30 minutes, start small and then gradually your body will naturally ask for like more. It will, it will start asking for more and then you will, you will naturally push yourself to do more. So, you know, I would say start off with 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a treadmill or elliptical or, you know, the Stairmaster, you know, and get into the habit. It's, everything is all about habits. You create habits. Once you create the habit, it starts becoming a routine. And once okay. it becomes a routine, it becomes a lifestyle. I like that. I like that. What's your purpose? Final question. My purpose in life? Yeah, what's your purpose? Yes, as Fatima Halibi Danso, what's your purpose? I want to, I want to change lives in a positive way. I want to represent for you know i, I want to be a representation of where i come from mm -hmm. you know so i want to be able to help as many people as i possibly can whether it's through fitness whether it's through you know um health and just being a informational you know informative person for them and i just want to be able to like help people and if i could put a smile on somebody's face or if i could make a difference on, in someone's life then that's all that matters my brother said, change my life. <laughs> he said, change my life. Give me your hair. <laughs> I can't put this voice. Why is it like this? How do you, how will she give you her hair, guys? Come on, please. You were giving, are you giving your hair out? Huh? How does that work? My brother said, please change my, like, he wants you to change his life and give him your hair. No comment. <laughs> How long did it take you to do that? Oh, you know? this? Yes. Um, it took about almost eight hours. Wait, what? You sat down for eight hours for that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's 36, it's 36 inches, so, you know. Okay, so, um, this guy, this guy that is wanting you, apparently, he said that since you don't have, so this, this is the comment, so he's, he's confessing. He said Panda, he's talking to Panda, and he says, I think you can read my mind, and I'm a fitness guru. That's my lifestyle. I don't mind that when she's blind, I can be her eyes. Ha! So this gentleman wants to be your eyes when you are blind. Like this now, you cannot read comments. So he'll be the one to read your comment. Hold your hand and take you to the gym. And both of you will be walking out together. I am done with these individuals. It is done. This gentleman have broken the internet. We are here having serious conversation. They are planning your wedding on the night. <laughs> you wake up in the morning in, and you'll be out there in front of the imam just collecting your... Your future man, as in, you know, married married at, at first sight. You know what I show, right? Yeah. She, uh, the, uh, 
Well, many feel that you're not amused by these comments. You're you're somewhat scared. Is that something? That's not your thing. Like you're not, you don't really want to settle down. I can't see it. That's why <laughs> it's killing me that I can't see it. <laughs> oh, she can't see it. She can't see it. Like um, it's blurry. Like it's super blurry. So. It. I know people take screenshot of it and, and send it to you. Um, but. I want to say I want to say thank you so much. Um, so you could go to you could certainly go to www dot um, halibi right halibi dot com. That's that's the website. I posted it earlier. Or you could pretty much just follow her up. If you follow her up um, on on Instagram right now. She has the links to all the different the different the her you know basically had different pages where you're able to uh, get. With her, someone is saying thank you so much for giving me extra time because usually I just cut it short, and they are having a field trip. Um, you could get to contact her. So is Halle B, you know, so Fatima Halle B right here on Instagram. Follow her up, you know, get to check out what she's, uh, what she has to offer because I feel it goes a long way. Someone was asking initially, do you do you ship to Europe? Do I what? Do you ship to Europe, as in your products? Yes, yes, we do international shipping. Okay, so worldwide shipping is happening, so you can buy her stuff, um, get to try it out, recommend it to your friends as well. And we certainly cannot wait what this year's or 2021's award event is going to look like. And who is going to be So amazing. many surprises, so many things to look forward to. Um, hold on, let me get the door. This is a startup. So guys, listen, I am proud and I am disappointed. How are you going to be treating my guests like this? There's a lot of people to be, you know. I was just talking to the, I was talking to the children, asking them to behave. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um who's who's on your who's who's on your, your top five playlist? Music wise? Yes. Um Wally Seka definitely. You soon do Oh yeah. Wally is coming to your wedding as well. He is booked. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, Wally Seka, you soon do um, Nick Meals. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to a lot of Hove lately in the gym. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That was four, right? Or was it three? No, you did well. You did, four, you did five already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, no gambling artists. Wow. Oh, Gambian. Oh, Gambian artist. Wait, cause not, even, not even one. No, because no, Danny, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, okay. Um, I would say Gambian artist. Um, Jizzle for sure. Jizzle, definitely. Um, that's the only Gambian artist that I really know. I don't know. I don't know no other Gambian artist. And that girl, what's her name? Um, Imani something. That's yes, something. yes. 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 Her. Yeah. Um, she's really good. I, I listen to her. Um, and that's about it. I don't, I don't, I don't know any other guy. That's, listen, this is why I'm, I'm sorry. This Whoever is why is I'm trying to connect with. with... Whoever is calling oh, you, tell this is why... calling you. Oh, listen, I'm sorry. But this is why I'm trying to connect with, you know, people from abroad because I really want to get to know other people. I want to get to know the artists. I want to get to know... Because, again, you know, the award show is coming and, you know... Yeah, you need to... Support. Yeah. Okay. So, um, anybody want to give a shout-out to at this point? So, guys, get in those DMs for the right purposes, please. Let me just say that. Um... Anybody, anybody want to give a shout out to you? me? Yes. Um. Uh, wow. I mean, yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> There's nobody you give. You want to give a shout out to? Like, like, as in, like, okay, shout outs. To, I mean, I find that so corny a little bit, but hey. <laughs> She find that so corny, but yes, all right. You don't have anybody to say you want. You, 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 you're, there's nobody you're grateful to. I mean, I shout out to okay. everyone. Okay, wait. Shout out to everyone in the Gambian community that's tuned in. You know, to get yeah. to know me, it was a pleasure. Even though I'm blind as a bat, I can't see shit that you guys are writing. But 
Thank this you. For how, do you go to the, how do you go to the gym and you can't? <laughs> Thank you for all thank you for all the lovely comments. I really appreciate yes. you guys. I really, really do. And I look forward to hearing from y'all. I look yeah. forward to working with you guys in the future. Whoever does whatever, you know. Um, yeah, Gambia, stand up, Senegal, stand up, everybody in the West African region. I hope you I hope everyone comes together and build and network. Yep. So you heard it right here, Fatima Hani So check her out on social media. Um she is Definitely going to be helping you with your health and wellness. Um, she equally will help you out to identify some of the people in the region that needs to be celebrated. I equally need to link up with her as to probably beginning to plan my guest for 2001. You know, gamins that I feel that are influential that you don't know eventually you need to get into. I want to say thank you so much. Um, they're already walking into that's mommy, that's mommy right there at the back. <laughs> Oh, is, is that? It, it, oh, it's not. Okay, sorry, Auntie. Um, <laughs> let's, let's let's leave this 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 lady's house. Oh, oh, that's 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 my mommy. That that she looked she looked grown. So I had to throw it. Like that. Um, no. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah, sorry. I, like I could be somebody's mom. I, 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 oh oh oh! I'm sorry. We saw you from the back, so we. I'm like, what? That's my best friend. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We saw her from the back, so we're like, ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so, thank you so much. Let, let's we'll, we'll allow you to get back to your fun, but we wish you well. To so the, the comment section, guys. Mm -hmm. We, I am, I am, I mean, I'm, I don't think I will be doing this without you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, thank you are. Panda, Fanta, J Life as well has joined. J Life is drooling. Like he is looking at you and he's like, oh. Jack is overwhelmed. He just said, but no, be not nice. I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile. Panda keeps asking who your dentist is. I don't think your dentist could be her dentist. They're miles away. <laughs> um, to each and every one of you, Ren, that's holding me accountable. I'm, I'm so, listen. Next year, I'm getting all my favorite, all my favorite people. I'm getting you guys Christmas gifts. Um, it's it's important. I, that's the only way I can say thank you so much to your 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 presumed husband to be <laughs> someone that they gave you, which eventually you don't know. Um, Superstar P. <laughs> you can check his page out as well. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Next week is going to be amazing as well. We'll have to talk to a Gambian this time back home. And to Jay, to every one of you that did get to participate, I want to say thank you so much for taking your time to, to be here and, and, and get to learn. Um, I want to say thank you so much for taking your time to look out for Gambians that are excelling. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that we do. Eventually, all I want to do right now is go out there, follow her, and just be as supportive as you can. Um, Fatima, Panda is crushing on you. Let me just say that. So I love I think, you, Panda. I love I you. I think you need to open your horizon and don't really limit it. <laughs> you know, you know, love is love at the end of the day. Love is love. You necessarily don't have to end up with one guy. Oh you know, happy as well. Thank you guys so much. much. I really appreciate it. Um, I wish you all the best. And wait, he said he, I got a wife finally. Okay, guys, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima, I'll talk to you soon. Have a blast.